Praise the Lord, precious saints. And welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible says, according to 1 Corinthians 1.27, it says, But God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of this world to shame the strong. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I fit right into that category. And for me personally, I would rather be a fool for Christ than a tool for the devil. Hallelujah. Let us be fools for Jesus Christ. Now, God has a habit of choosing people in their most weakest situations. Hallelujah. He always comes to deliver us. He found Gideon, you know, in a hole. He found Joseph in a pit. He also found Daniel in a lion's den when he scooped him up from that place. God has a way of showing up at those opportunity, those times that we think that, hey, it's all finished. Maybe you feel like you have got nothing to offer God. Let me tell you, God can turn your nothing into something because God will choose the foolish things of this world. He will choose those that are even unqualified so that he can qualify you. It's all about Jesus Christ. When we submit to his refining fire, God starts to prune off and cut off those areas in your life. You're like like a diamond. There is a process that takes place when you uh, when you start to mine for diamonds. When you mine that diamond initially, it needs to be cut. It needs to be polished. It needs to go through a process for it to come out. Maybe you also, like me, at one time was a rough diamond. But then God allowed that process of heat, of trials, of tribulation to come along to refine you. Because when you're refined, God can use you. But maybe you feel that you are not even worthy to be used by God. Well, the devil's always there reminding us of our past. He's always there reminding us of our mistakes and so forth. But just as you see from today's word, don't go digging up those past mistakes. Why dig up what has already been covered with the blood of Jesus Christ? God chooses the foolish things of this world. I remember there were years ago that I had this vision And these people were coming up out of this spiritual dump or a spiritual rubbish tip or trash can, however you pronounce it in the place that you're from. And people were coming up out of there and they were from all sorts of walks of life. But the glory of the cross, there was a crucifix there and the glory of the light of this cross was shining upon those people. So as they were coming up, They were being transformed from every different tribe and place. And some of them were prostitutes and some of them were bikey members and gang members and and pimps and all sorts of different walks of life. But as the cross was shining upon them, that was cleaning them. It was like a science fiction movie and they were being cleansed and transformed. But God left those that had tattoos. God left the scars of those people there as a reminder to remind them are where they've come from. See, when you're forgiven much, you'll also love much. Do you love the Lord? No matter how far you feel that you've gone from the Lord, He is calling you back to Himself in this hour. No matter how insignificant you feel, even within the church, even within your own eyes, God sees potential within inside of you. When we start to become prideful and so forth, God is not pleased for that. But He will also even correct you because He loves you. God loves us so much that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believed in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. No matter what you're going through today, God has your back. God is interested in your needs. Hallelujah. The Lord was speaking to me earlier today and he said to, there are some people, there is someone with shingles. Shingles is like a rash, but it has pain. Or it's like chicken pox. Maybe you have a rash on your body, but it's painful. God is saying, Right now, I speak to that pain and I speak to that rash. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. You will no longer itch it. It will no longer be painful in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone else 
with migraines. You suffer with migraines. Right now, there is someone with a migraine that's at the back of their head. I speak to that migraine and I say, be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. There are other people with headaches. You've got a headache right now. But even as you're receiving this word, God is going to heal that headache instantaneously right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That headache is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone else with feet pain, meaning there is pain in your feet. That pain that's in your feet right now, maybe it's due to circulation, maybe it's due to the diabetes in your body, whatever it is, whatever that pain is, the accident, whatever that pain, maybe you've been standing on your feet too long, whatever that pain is, I'm commanding that pain to leave your feet right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord also showed me that within this period of time, someone has fell into the sin of masturbation. God is saying, just repent and move forward. Stop allowing the devil to keep you there. But that thing that has been harassing around you, I command that devil to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave that person right now. Leave that person right now. Leave that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also someone else. Uh, that the Lord has shown me uh, that has been suffering through the area of generational curses. This generational curse has been a stumbling block. It's been a hindrance and it's trying to stop you from entering into the fullness of what God has for your life. I'm commanding that spirit right now. You will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. I expose you today, generational curse. I expose you, I expose you, and I command you to come out of that person. And now you will leave, you'll manifest yourself right now. I command you, I command you, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will come out of that person now and go back to the pit of hell. Go back to the pit of hell. Go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also someone that's been suffering with sickle cell, sickle cell disease. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against that right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I command that sickness to leave them. And anybody else that has any other sickness, I just command right now for that sickness to leave their body that sickness to leave their body. Any immune diseases right now, leave their body right now. Leave their body right now. Leave their body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing and wholeness over that person's life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus loves you. When the blood of Jesus covers you, don't go and dig up those past things that you've done in the past. But look to Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. So no matter what you are passing through today, precious saints, Jesus is sufficient. His blood is sufficient to cover you and be with you. So Lord, bless your people in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this short message, we encourage you to share it with somebody today. You can subscribe it to our YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram or our TikTok page. Follow us on our website, repentancerevival.com. Precious Saints, as you may have have seen there is a 14 day midnight warfare challenge starting this Wednesday going for two weeks precious saints I would encourage you to get your families involved I have completely updated the prayers and the program for the midnight hour program so it's completely fresh and also we have another program in depth dealing with more stubborn demons and that is called warfare prayers to expose the enemy's agenda and we also have the 14 day marriage program that you can also choose to do depending on what it suits you at this time but the midnight program 
is fresh. It's fresh off the press and it's ready to be used. So I would encourage us to do it. If you can't do it at the midnight hour and you want to do it with the family at a more suitable town, feel free. But you must do it in one sitting. So you, what you do is you get your family involved, get different people to read the different sections. So I've broke it up into different sections. And then everybody say amen after each line or paragraph that I have in those sections. It keeps people engaged in to the prayers and you can also do the same if you are the one confessing them so just learn and and obviously watch the teaching first of why we pray at the midnight hour and why we pray such prayers it will just help you if you've never done it before precious saints i encourage those that want to fast you can do a daniel fast throughout that period or you can fast from six to six whatever you're able to do even if you just skip one meal a day it doesn't matter just join in this is all part of this month's extended fasting and warfare challenge for this period of time so i encourage you to tap into that bless it and you can either do it with your family do it with a group of friends do it with your church it is there all all the work that i do is just done to bless the body of christ so we can prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ so from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for your precious saints shalom shalom shalom